Hello and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so it's actually been a long time since how long? 16 weeks. I was pregnant. 16 weeks pregnant. So four, eight weeks. It's been eight weeks since I updated you guys, and I said I was gonna update you weekly, which obviously hasn't been the case. I don't know. I just felt like they were my updates were repetitive, and I didn't really know what to talk about. And yeah, so. I'm making no promises, not too sure how often I'll be doing updates, but hopefully more than every eight weeks because then I would only have like um, two to do if I make it to 40 weeks. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to talk about what has been happening in the last eight weeks of my pregnancy. Um, more so the last four weeks because that's the most fresh in my mind, but I'll also might mention things that have been happening throughout the eight weeks uh, and i just have my list here so if i'm looking down that is why so i just made bullet points the first one is emotional um not comfy i've just been really emotional uh i obviously just think it's because of the pregnancy i'm already an emotional person but i'm just extra emotional and i feel things a lot more deeper i feel if that makes sense so like all my emotions are just more intensified than they usually are. Um, I'm feeling huge. I know I am only 24 weeks pregnant. I'm actually halfway through my 25th week. So in three days, I'll be turning, yeah, three more full days of being in my 25th week. And then I will be 25 weeks pregnant. And I'm just feeling like, I don't know how my belly is going to keep growing. Like I know it got bigger than this with Ari, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels like it didn't get this big. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I feel like a ball and it and it sucks. <laughs> um, none of my clothes fit me anymore, really. I have to wear mostly maternity clothes. Um, and then even some of my clothes that aren't maternity, they're very, very tight. I was wearing a size small um before i got pregnant and now i'd probably fit into like a medium or a large um regular clothes so i don't have a lot of clothes that are that size actually i have like nothing in size medium even so yeah i have to rely on my maternity clothes for sure now it's really difficult i already put all my clothes away that don't fit me like that and i put them in the laundry room because we have like shelving in there because it was just getting to the point where it's like I couldn't find anything that I could wear and now most things in my closet I can wear so yeah I'm tired all the time even now I'm tired I got up today got ready took a shower I cleaned my room and now I'm filming this and I'm like ready for a nap um, I'm just always tired um, always out of breath even right now I'm sure you can tell I just like feel like I can't get a deep enough breath in. It's it's crazy. Uh, constantly hungry. I, I just feel like lately, especially, I just want to snack all the time. And it doesn't matter if I have like a meal and like an hour or two after my meal, I want something else to eat, like something small or whatever. I don't know if it's because I'm bored or what. I just, I always feel like I could be eating something and I never crave anything that's like good for me so um new stretch marks i i know i have new stretch marks i haven't examined my body like i did with ari's pregnancy i like literally examined my body every week to see which what was happening this time around i'm not as concerned just because i know like the stretch marks i did get before they did fade really like to a decent to where it didn't bug me and then even if they were kind of bugging me, I would just remind myself I brought Ari into the world. So I'm sure I'll do the same with this guy, little guy. But um, I can just feel like underneath my like belly. I don't, I've tried to look in the mirror, but I can't really see 
but I can feel them like rising new stretch marks and there was a time when like within the last month that my belly just feels like it's on fire it's usually at night because that's when my belly is the biggest um so I know in that in those instances like stretch marks are probably in the process of being made so I can almost guarantee I have new stretch marks I just don't know how many right now and I'm hoping I don't get too many I felt like as soon as I went like as soon as I hit 38 weeks pregnant with Ari is when I really started getting them so I'm hoping that um, he comes around that time so I don't have those extra like two or three weeks to keep getting more stretch marks because I feel like that's probably what's going to happen this time around too if I carry him till full term or past. I have painful hips so last night was actually a decent night but the last like few weeks my sleeping has been very bad um, obviously can't lay on my back anymore and when I'm laying on my sides my hips ache like it wakes me up and I have to switch sides and it's not easy to turn over in bed anymore so like I have to do this like weird movement where I like pick up my butt and turn like it's not just like a rollover in bed <laughs> um, and they like hurt really bad to the point where um, not yeah yesterday I was thinking about like what like what do I do like do I like obviously just wait for my next doctor's appointment because it's not severe but it I don't even think that they can do anything and it just sucks because it's really painful and it's enough to like make my sleep not good and interrupted so that sucks uh, and then I went I flew two weeks ago to Arizona and as I was flying back on the plane, I actually had like really bad feet pain. It was like my feet were either like numb or very swollen. One of the two where it's like you're walking on pins. And I was like limping in the airport. I don't know why, but my feet were just really killing me. So I thought I'd mention that. Um, I gained 18 pounds as of last month at my... Um, the last doctor's appointment and I was around 20 weeks pregnant like 20 and a half weeks pregnant I'd say um, so it's been a month since and my doctor's appointment is this week coming up I believe so I will get weighed again I do think I ate a lot on my trip I was in Phoenix for 11 days and I think I ate I knew I I know I ate crappy those 11 days so I'm like a little worried to see what the scale is and it, it sucks because um, I guess an important thing to say that isn't even on here actually is um, I have I don't I don't know if it's necessarily I have it or they're concerned that I have it but um, placenta previa which is just that the placenta is really close to the cervix um, mine is actually not covering the cervix right now. Mine's two centimeters away from the cervix. So it's still very close. Um, it should be like on the back side and it's really low to the bottom. Um, so I was told I had restrictions. Like no having sex. And then I didn't ask but I because I, I kind of forgot. Um, I just stopped working out too because I googled it and it said if you've been diagnosed with placenta previa that they tell you not to work out and I figure if I can't even have sex I probably shouldn't be working out so at this doctor's appointment I'm gonna clarify I'm hoping that they'll let me work out but um if not then I guess when it comes to weight I'll just be gaining I guess I can try to make healthier choices but that's hard when you're pregnant and, and craving things that are not healthy so yeah, that's something big in this pregnancy. Um, it's actually really worrisome and they've told me like if I start to bleed for any reason I obviously have to go to the hospital because I'm at high risk for that kind of stuff um, since I do have placenta previa or since my placenta is so close to the cervix. Ready for maternity leave, which I am. I'm like, I'm ready to just not be going to work, which I'm not going to work a lot these next few weeks. but. Uh, I kind of dropped down to completely part-time 
um, like minimal hours, but uh, I am just ready to go. I'm gonna be leaving sometime in December, so unfortunately um, I'm able to do that where I live. And yeah, I'm just ready to be done work. <laughs> um, I feel him constantly mo when he's awake. Like I think he sleeps quite a bit in the daytime when I'm awake, which I guess makes sense because I'm moving around and stuff. Um, but I do feel him and I can actually see his movements outside of my belly, so that's cool. I get dizzy spells. What am I at? 10 minutes. I get dizzy spells a lot, like to the point where I feel like I'm going to pass out. It's happened to me four times now in this pregnancy. Um, it happened to me last night and then like not even a week ago. Uh, those were the two that were the most frequent. So it's kind of nerve wracking to me that that keeps happening. Um, I got it with Ari before when I was pregnant, but I only got it with her once really bad. And I actually lost my eyesight. Like everything went black. Um, and I was actually at work. I was working as a cashier at the time at Shoppers Drug Mart. And, um, I had to sit down. Thankfully, I had like no customers in my line, but like, I had to sit down for a minute because I really thought I was going to pass out. I do think I, I was pretty close to passing out in that moment, but um, I haven't lost my vision this time around with this pregnancy, but I have um, like everything goes numb and I get really dizzy and like I'm like fighting to stay awake. Um, like all my limbs go numb and it's very weird, like my arms, my legs, my hands like even the back of my head it's like this numbing feeling like so weird uh and scary because no one likes the idea of like well i don't like the idea of passing out and like having no control over your body i don't know if it's like him pushing on something or i've looked up and it can be a sign of preeclampsia which i hope i don't have i don't think i have that um i think actually at this doctor's appointment um i'll i'll get my date to where i can go in and do my test for gestational diabetes which is the same as preeclampsia i think i don't know now that i say that i don't it isn't i don't know um okay i can see my weight gain slash water retention already so especially in my face like when I look at old videos of me like or pictures just before I got pregnant or like my first few weeks of pregnancy um, I think my face looks way slimmer. I was working out a lot then too <laughs> but um, I noticed this change in my face in the last like month of my pregnancy with Ari but this time I'm starting to notice like the weight gain and puffiness in my face. Um, and I think I'm around the same weight gain as I was with Ari at this point in my pregnancy. I'm on track to make, like, I'm probably on track to weigh as much as I did with Ari's pregnancy, but I'm hoping to not get that far. Um, so anyways, my point is, is that I've seen less changes in my face in pregnancy with her, but I'm seeing more now. Um. I'm hoping it's mostly water retention, <laughs> but it could be weight too. Just I just noticed my face is bigger, which which is sad. Um, I can no longer see my vagina, <laughs> and um, yeah, like when I look down in the shower, like I can't I can't see. If I want a like good shave, I would have to get in the bath now. But I kind of just like. I gotta just shave, like, it's like shaving with your eyes closed. Like, you, like, feel and shave and feel and shave. But, yeah, I can't see my vagina in my stand-up shower. Um, and then, last but not least, I said I already feel like I'm in my third trimester. And I am almost 25 weeks, and your third trimester starts at 27. So, I'm only two and a half weeks away from um, my third trimester, which is crazy. But I, yeah, I definitely already feel like I'm there. Like I'm in the, starting to get into the miserable stage of pregnancy. I feel like I never really got a break in this pregnancy, honestly. They say your second trimester is like 
the best and I was still very tired throughout my second trimester very emotional and just kind of like all over the place and now I feel like it's getting even worse um, and like yeah I'm getting into that phase where I'm uncomfortable and you know things are starting to hurt a lot more so and we're and like I feel like your third trimester you're kind of like pretty much over your pregnancy <laughs> and I I don't want to say I'm over it because this might be my last one I don't know um, I go back and forth because it's like the days that I have bad days I'm like that's it I'm done but um, and then I'm like no I could do this a time again at least I probably will have one more but anyways I, in case I don't I'm trying to cher remind myself to cherish these moments because I really didn't with Ari's pregnancy um, and trying even though I'm I'm trying not to be over it but I'm over it I'm, I'm also excited to meet him and you know just yeah and then uh, last but not least actually is my current cravings just the last like few nights I've been craving apple pie from mostly from McDonald's um, and salty chips which I haven't been able to get but I've been craving them and then we have these like little um, mandarin oranges and I've been eating quite a bit of those um, so yeah those are my cravings this video was really long hopefully I can shorten some of it because I'm already at almost 17 minutes of filming but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my update I'll show you guys the belly and then I'll see you next time this is the belly with the shirt on. And then with it off. There. These ones from behind. These are tight. <laughs>